Well, Milan were founded back in 1899, while Inter were born nine years after that. It is one of the great rivalries in European club football. Milan against Inter, coming up from the San Siro. Derek Ray in the commentary position, joined by Stuart Robson. And Stuart, we always relish these duels. Absolutely. Here we are at the San Siro for the greatest of derbies. I love this game. Both clubs have such a wonderful history. Let's hope I'm not disappointed. And so the match is underway. And a look at the Inter team. Samir Handanovic begins between the posts. Stefan de Frey plays with Martinez. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. And deciding to go short with this one. And Perisic prepared to fire. Well, a bit short with the clearance. And never in any doubt from the keeper. And taking it away. Dzeko. It's a good inter move in the making. But really sticking to the task defensively. Kessier. He's got the right idea with that pass. And the problem not completely solved. Ibrahimovic. Superb block. Well, Inter have played some wonderful football in front of their own fans this season. And just look at that record, Stuart. Well, nine wins from 11 games is a great record. But it's no surprise, really. The level of performance is... Oh, well, they might score here, Stuart. Cross blocked. Elects to go short. Martinez. Well, couldn't keep it. What can they do from here? Martinez. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. goalkeeper would be disappointed if he didn't save that and good pressure high up the pitch and the referee blows for a foul Sandro Tonali well read to ease the pressure Chalanolu and return to Chalanolu and he's broken free oh yes 1-0 it is and it doesn't come as a huge surprise just look at this again the combination play in the top third of the field was so precise and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Well, Milan get the ball moving again, hoping to find a response to that setback. Ibrahimovic maneuvering through. Rebic. Kessier. And possibilities here. Ibrahimovic. Manera Zuri regaining possession. 
Barella. Matteo Damian. And a poor attempt at a challenge, and on he goes. And a fantastic diving save. And there's the delivery. Well, they haven't overcome all the difficulties. Threat over for now, it seems. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. How can he take them on and beat them? A very timely interception. Dzeko. Martinez. Possession given away, unfortunately. Chalanolu. A return to Chalanolu. Oh, just the tackle that was needed. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. And an astute piece of defending. Oh, that's an interesting pass. It was intended for Dzeko. It might still be problematic. And I think the threat has been averted. And breaking at pace with Menis. Ibrahimovic waiting. That's a great stop. Well, his reflexes are so good there. That's a fantastic stop. And over comes the corner. Well, no end product. And that is going to be a free kick. And a strong tackle. There's vision for you from Zlatan Ibrahimovic. And a touch of finesse. Well, well, well. How many players would have the confidence to try that? Simply magnificent. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect. And the finish is sublime. He sees the keeper's position and just chips it over him. It's a breathtaking goal. So underway again here on the back of that leveller. Matteo Damian. Oh, he's given it away. And the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. And the goal kick is the outcome. Jekko could be a chance to break here. Perisic. Well, it's one pass after another. Jekko. And here's Chalanoru. Well timed tackle. The referee spotted the infringement, and it will be a free kick in a position of genuine menace. Well, they're certainly getting closer. You just sense that the goal is coming. They're playing so well at the moment. Skriniar. 
Barella. It's with Chalanolu. Well, the referee has instructed the fourth official to put two minutes on the board. Looking for that final pass. Looking for the goal that would put them ahead. Dzeko. Determined defending. It has to be. And how about that for a save? That is that for the first half here. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Chalanolu. Dzeko really getting stuck in well the referee wasn't going to let that go Dzeko and return to Dzeko oh terrific piece of goalkeeping well this is a big moment and don't these fans know it well, opting for the short corner. Can he convert? Well, fantastic reflex action. Good looking move, this. Oh, he's through here. Oh, denied by the keeper. Well, what more can you say? That's goalkeeping at its very best. Well, a chance here perhaps to invigorate their aerial targets and they deal with the threat this time there's a lot of great save by Handanovic <laughs> delivering it well, the goalkeeper doing what he's paid to do. Not a chance for them again to play it over from the corner flag. And he clears the danger. Straightforward piece of goalkeeping. And a strong tackle. Good work from the Rossoneri to win the ball back. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Diaz, and no way through. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Well, what can you say about this? It's hit so cleanly with exactly the right amount of bend on it. And he does so well to get it back down in time once it goes over the wall. Excellent strike. And we'll find out a lot about Inter's attitude in the aftermath of that concession. Brozovic Vecino on the ball well we're into the final half hour well Milan haven't bossed the possession as you can see but that won't bother them because when they win it in deep areas they've got forward with pace and with numbers it's been a great counter-attacking display well very effective goalkeeping to touch it over the referee is given a corner. Not all that convincing defensively. Worth the try. Oh, so close to extending their lead. Well, that really would have put them in a commanding position, but it's still all to play for here.
Barella. Martinez. They might be able to get in now. Promising sequence. But they took care of the situation defensively. Diaz. Oh, fancy footwork. Great opportunity. And still a chance. Dwarting him. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Well, what a great save that was to keep them in this. May just be the impetus they need, as they certainly haven't been at their best today. Dzeko. Inter in a position of menace. Well, it didn't worry the keeper. Getting in there to take it away. Calabria. No possibilities inside the box. And missing the chance to give them a bit of breathing space. Well, that should have made it more comfortable, shouldn't it? But it's a wasted opportunity. And they will make the change now. Messino. Ivan Perisic. Barella has it. Dzeko. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. This could level it. Couldn't quite hang on. Well, able to survive that attacking push. Well, they're creating chances. They now just need to take one of them. Mind you, what a save that was. Ivan Perisic. An alert intervention. Getting forward. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Just ten minutes to go. Spot on with that tackle. Splendid tackle and a throw-in coming up. Well, what an atmosphere inside the San Siro. But can Inter find a moment of inspiration to get themselves back into this game? Time's not on their side. Well, punched clear. Throw-ins given. Dzeko. And that wasn't a million miles away. Almost the equaliser. Well, it's not a bad effort, is it? But they've got to find a way back into this one. Well, with five minutes remaining and just one goal between them, Still, the prospect of late excitement in this match. Sandro Tonali. Giroud. Chance here. And just making the run a bit too early. Offside as a result. Run it magnificently and intercepted. So a throw in here. Brahim. Magnificent read, fine tackle, Stefan de Frey. Can they do something positive? on the counter-attack Diaz just possessed there tremendous piece of tackling 
Well, that's a well-timed pass. And he might be in here. Still alive. So that is that full-time here. And not a result Inter fans will be especially happy with. Well, this was always going to be a close game. But despite their brilliant home form, I think they were slightly negative in their approach today. And as a result, they always look second best in key areas.